Well, it's Tuesday, mm -hmm. and we're we're still messing around with brass engines. Oh yeah. But we're going off in a new direction today. A lot of people have been commenting. Gee, I really like logging railroads. Oh, they're fun. And I've always loved logging railroads, too. Oh, I know, especially Roaring Camp. I love that one. Isn't that great? That's a great one. You, you know, this is trivia. We're a little off subject, but I'm putting a link up here to the Roaring Camp. A lot of people don't know that that was built as a hobby railroad. Yeah. I, by a guy just wanted to have his own three-foot gauge logging railroad <laughs> and build it there at Big Trees. Mm -hmm. And... Um, Anyway, now it's a beautiful scenic railroad if you want to go, go mm. ride it. But right. they have chaise and the usual logging stuff. Logging stuff is just so unique right? because uh, it's got to climb impossible grades. Uh, big trees there at Roaring Camp climbs an 8% grade at one point. Oh, I know. It's like they back up the grade. It's kind of fun. They sort of have to, or it skids <laughs> wheels and stuff. But, right. but also the track plan allows for that. Anyway, we want to go through a bunch of logging equipment because I've been buying HO logging equipment even though I've never had a logging railroad. But you know me, um, if it's out there and it's brass and then I just buy it. And I, I kind of thought it would be fun to have a logging operation, but I've never even come close to having a logging operation. A lot of uh, logging operations are standard gauge uh, as opposed to Narrow gauge. This is a standard gauge Class A Climax by Northwest Short Line. And as you can see from the diminutive box, it can't be a very big engine. It's got to be tiny. It's got to be tiny, and in fact it is. It's, uh, it's a Climax. And so Climaxes come in the weirdest uh, bunches of, of different configurations. But... Um, this is a, a vertical boiler climax. Now I've also got the uh, the fireman who's throwing a piece of wood. Oddly enough, logging railroads seem to like to burn wood. Right. I wonder why. I no. can't imagine. <laughs> <laughs> the fuel is just laying all over the place. And then here's the the, the log load, and then uh, that goes back in there, and then this guy can be in there. But. Um, there it is, this little vertical boiler Climax, one of the most primitive early oh, engines man, I'll say. that anybody ever dreamt up. And I don't know that you could say a Climax is exactly uh, a logging railroad, but it's a geared locomotive, and it sort of depends on the Climax, too. They come in different flavors. I mean, these, these Climaxes, the later Climaxes were a whole different sort of a configuration but you just have a single cylinder here in the middle of the uh, locomotive with the gear mechanisms and and that turns a drive shaft it works just like a Chevy or something that you've got a, a drive shaft and differentials that runs that and then a vertical boiler um, anyway mm. there it is it's a it's a neat little engine as That's you can neat. see it's painted and weathered and oh, neat. and all good to go but uh, I, I just I stumbled across that at a train show, and it's like, well, I have to have that. That's really neat. And, of course, the price was right, and so, well, there I, you just, go. I bought it. <laughs> but Northwest Short Lines made some really neat little brass engines and big brass engines, but I just love these little knobby uh, geared engines. Not necessarily logging engines per se, but geared locomotives. Lots of power for a and little thing. Lots of power. They're slow as erosion, yeah. <laughs> but very, very powerful. But that's that's the key to something like a logging railroad. Yeah. Slow gets it done. Well, anyway, if you if you haven't been over to the channel, pop on over to the channel. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And the easy way to get to the channel <laughs> and subscribe is to click the blue button. Are over we here. ready for it? <laughs> Zoink! Well, we're not sure how you found this video on the internet, and we hope you didn't find it boring. And we will see you here on Sunday because we got something really oh, neat to show you. See you then. <laughs> see ya. Bye. Bye bye.